Today's spooky spot spots having a look at the Monster 500 Freak Force number four, Evil Clown Evil. Evil Clown Evil. Trading card inside, unleash the monster car in this free Monster 500 racing app. I've not actually used Clown Evil before, but the default is Flat Top Frank. I'm still kind of using Flat Top Frank. It's recommended for ages four and up. There's the clown down below. Jared, I'm sure, would be a big fan of this one because he loves clowns. Uh, on the back of the package, Invasion 1 consists of the Zoom Zombie, Evil Clown Evil, Leadfoot, Crockpot, Flat Top Frank. Sadly, the only one I did not pick up was Crockpot, at least of Wave 1. Down below, there are live Monster 500 code on the trading card. I'll show you guys that. And again, don't forget, download the app. It's a little harder, I find, to, to play it on a phone. I think if you were playing on an iPad, it'd be a little bit easier to make out everything. But uh, I think it also, it's been a bit so I played, but I think it's actually where you tip it. I wish it was more joysticked. But anyways, Spot's going to take a very scary break. I'm going to open this up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the evil clown evil. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Evil Clown Evil, if that is his real name, it says Killer Sense of Humor. It's number four, and from Freak Force. Back of the card, there is your code right there. And he is pure evil. Oh, he seems so nice, though. No, he's evil. But he's a clown. No, pure evil. Here's your monster code down below. The Daredevil, he's fearless and loves to perform amazing stunts on and off the track. Unfortunately, his stunts usually end in hilarious disaster, so none of the other monsters take him seriously. He's racing for respect, which he never really gets, even when he wins. And that is why he's pure evil. His motive is respect. His strength is fearless. Weakness is delusional. Vehicle, laughing gas guzzler. Quote, I'm not clowning around. The card right there. Let's have a look at Evil Clown Evil. He kind of is in a clown style of car. It also kind of looks like a clown shoe. I don't know if that's intentional, but it does also kind of look like a clown shoe. We've got a big engine in the front. Of course, the whole time, I don't know how he's driving this car. In fact, I question that with a lot of these Monster 500 uh, drivers, and I use the term drivers very loosely. I don't know how they drive their vehicles. This one just wills, I guess, a direction. Just driving along, he goes, mm, I need to turn right. Whoop! You know, I don't know. But he's got a horn. So I guess at least if he's going the wrong way, he can honk at you and then you can just move out of the way. His teeth are garish. Kind of looks like the boogeyman from the real Ghostbusters. Although I don't know what his bottom looks like. Maybe he does have the bottom of a goat. But his teeth, kitties, look. This be a lesson to you. Take care of your teeth. It could look like this. A clown? No, not quite a clown. But look at the teeth on the clown. Oh. Uh, he has two big t back tires, two front tires. So, I mean, that's the smaller tires and the back tires being bigger. Seems to be consistent with all the other Monster 500 figures. This one did not come in the larger scale, which kind of is a shame. I think it would have been fun if this guy was in a bigger scale. No doubt one of the sound effects would have been the honking of his little hand horn. And just as a comparison, maybe let's grab, eh, let's grab Leadfoot. Show you guys how different they are from one another. Vehicles are very different. The riders, very different. They certainly make for a fun little collectible. And by little, I mean, they're a good size. Uh, they're about the size of a Hot Wheels car or, you know, a die cast little I used to call them when I was younger, dinky cars. But uh, they're not heavy. There's like a little bit of metal, I feel like, on the bottom. But the rest of it is all plastic. These are available, well, I don't think they're available in stores anymore, unless you can find them for clearance. But I would say if you have, like kind of monsters and Mario Kart and all that kind of stuff, you probably would really like these as well. Today's spooky spot. Spot was continuing his looks at the Monster 500 we're looking today at Evil Clown Evil. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more spooky spots heading to you this month of Spottober. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>